tracking around here and work with the work suits. Up the front of the boat there is where the most movement is, so it's the worst place if you're feeling a little bit seasick. If you do feel a little bit crook, we've got these little, um, little beauties here, so yeah, grab one of those ones in your pocket. <laughs> um, yeah, we're all happy, we'll uh, make a move then. Cool. Simon, I'm the relief skipper of the Eclipso Star. I've been um, taking this boat for a couple of years. I uh, just love bringing people down to see the sharks. Most people, uh, once they get in there, they're a bit nervous at first. But once they get in, have a look around and uh, start feeling comfortable breathing underwater, they, uh, we normally have trouble getting them back out of the cage again once we get them in there. Getting them out's the hard part. Shark here already. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll have a lot of weight on you, so you're going to be able to walk around actually on the floor of the cage. But around the edge here, we've got handles here. And there's another hand rail on the bottom here where you can put your feet. So you can put your feet under this rail and hold on here. It'll be uh, secure in the cage. Moving through this area here, but at no time can you put your body outside the cage. It's not uncommon to have um, two or three sharks here, so while you're out there trying to touch one, another one could quite easily come from under the boat or under the cage. That's how they hunt, they hunt for a surprise. So, um, plus they're a protected species and uh, we're not allowed to touch them, so um, just keeping all body parts inside the cage. Oh man, amazing. amazing, amazing. Did he open his mouth for you, I've Lenny? Been there twice. Yeah? yeah? Was that shark good? Awesome. You got a comment? Oh my God!
that would be a problem. Ha, <laughs> ha,